Yo, what's up there, guys? Ducks Feel Hunt. Today is episode 5 of NHL 15. Be a gem with the Tampa Bay Lightning. So, what we're going to do this, this episode is we are going to sim up all the way to the trade deadline. And after that, from then on, we're going to do the trade deadline on the next episode and do the end of the season. So, this episode right now, uh, like I said, trade, we're going to sim up all the way to the trade deadline, which should be the beginning of March, which when we play against the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, really, there's not that much to do this episode. Uh, if I wanted to, I could sim up all the way to the uh, to the playoffs, and then we go from there. Another update for this series is the playoffs. Since there's no simming where you can actually like go into the game and sim it yourself, or sim period by period or minute by minute, uh, the the basically the playoffs will be one shot only. Like it'll be just completely one shot. What I mean by that is that all four rounds will be done in one video. I know it sucks, but that's just the way it works. So, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, they're, they've are they been doing really awesome, the Tampa Bay Lightning. They are first in the Eastern, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think they are first, if I'm not mistaken. They're, we're first in the Atlantic Division, but if I look Eastern Conference, I think we're first or second. Yeah, we're, we're first by four points. And the reason for that is that we we have some good offense. We had a, Our defense are doing pretty good. But I think one of the things that we were uh, goals for per game were good. Goals against, I think we were the bad, the baddest, of, the baddest of them all. I think goals against. Where are we? Or you know what? Oh, we're actually pretty good for goals against. I think it's a power play that we we were really getting sucky at. Uh, where are we? Yeah, our power play sucks balls, and then the our penalty kill is doing really great. So that's okay. So let's go. Let's take a look at our power play. And the one reason that that could potentially be what's wrong with our power play is because our boy Palat wasn't playing. I don't know what the hell Esports was thinking of, or it could be just my fault, which I just didn't see him while while I was editing the lines. But uh, if we can go trade and improve or uh, tr manage roster, all right. Let's go manage roster. Let's go with edit lines. Um, I don't know. I might have. I think I just misplaced him or something like that. Or esports might have took him out. But uh, yeah, our boy Palat's back there with uh, Philpula, and then we got Johnson on the right wing. Uh, Johnson or Philpula in the center. Uh, the reason for that is I put Philpula because he got a better face off. I know Johnson could develop better, but just for now, Johnson will be on the wing, and then uh, I think we're all good. Uh, we got our HL line right there, and then uh, Palat's back in the lineup. I don't know if it's going to affect his uh, potential, or it's going to affect his uh, growing, but uh, we'll see. So let's go offense, let's go special teams, and then we'll go power play. So our power play is back in action with our boy Palat on there. Uh, we got Johnson, Philip Palat, and Coochie. That's there also. So there we go. Puck skill shooting. Okay. So I think we're good. We're going to go. We're going to continue shimming, and it might be. A short episode right now. I go captain in jerseys. Yeah, it might be a little. Uh, what was I? Magic Carl and Vinny Hedman are assistants. Yeah. Yeah, it might be a shorter episode today, just because there's not that much something, not that much to do. But I don't want to go do the trade deadline, just because if I think of a trade that I want to do before we actually do it, so. Uh, but we got to look out for a salary cap because it's uh, contracts ending soon. Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't know. This is something that we, like we have. We have. Um, let's see. Let's just see what's going. Uh, let's go see view contracts. Let's go see next season. Uh, list of all contracts. Uh, okay, so let's see. Okay, so fifteen, sixteen. Let's just. Let's just. Yeah, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so it's not that much on our main roster. Uh, probably the biggest guy that's going to want money is probably Nick Letty. Other than that, Brandon Morrow, maybe not. But other than that, well, I, mean, I think we should be fine. Uh, what about in the system? Okay, so the, there's a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. Okay. Huh, you know what? I didn't even sign Anthony D'Angelo. I forgot about that. Give this guy a contract. Offer contract. There we go. Oh, never mind. Our roster's full, so can't really do anything. 
Ah, okay, so... I don't know, who's, uh, who's, uh... Who's the potential? Who's gonna be a potential? Potential madness. Uh, Anthony D'Angelo... Uh, okay, Adam Ernie... What about this high? I think I saw one high. There we go. Oh, this guy right here. Cristiano... Di Giacinto. Drafted in the sixth round, okay. Bottom six forwards, two way forwards. Could, might be a little Tyler Johnson right there. Might be a future Tyler Johnson, but let's start the simming. Let's start, uh, let's stop babbling and let's start the simming. No, I do not want to exit. Okay, so hub, 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 cal calendar. Uh, we can sim up all the way to the trade deadline right now and then we can go from there or we can go one month at a time and see where we go. Let's sim up all the way to the All Star game. Wow, okay. I am bad. I am really bad. Okay. I'll start game. Sim up to this date. Let's see if the Tampa Lightning can continue their streak of winning and stay on top of that Eastern Conference and potentially win that President's Trophy. Alright, so against Carolina. Ooh, a loss. Looks like Ben Bishop's not in his game. At its scouting assignment. Uh, might just stay in the O with potentially some of the WHL. Or might go to the... Uh, might go to the Amer America. Yeah, it was Jack Eichel, if I'm not mistaken. Or... Yeah, Jack I Eichel. Uh, forward for six weeks. Come on. Winning against the Maple Craps. Come on. We can win against the Maple Leafs. Come on. Easy win. Easy win. Oh, my God. There we go. Uh, nah. I'm sorry, Florida. You might actually be good for once in your career, but uh, not this time. I uh, would probably would have taken it, but uh, Florida might be good next year. Just like Buffalo, they might be good. Uh, was that a win? Yes, it was a win. Okay, so it looks like simming is taking its time, but I think it's simming all our wins. Yeah, I should be simming all the wins that we're going to have. Come on. Oh, my God. 6-2 loss. That's bullshit. Buddy, Florida, what is wrong with this? Man General manager of the Florida Panthers, complete trash. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's the thing about Tampa Bay. We win games and we'll lose, but we'll lose badly. If we lose against the Montreal Canadiens, I think that's when. No, oh, no, we won. Okay. The thing about Tampa Bay Lightning is that they haven't lost an OT yet. It's all regulation losses, which it does kind of piss me off, but uh, hey, what can you do? Can I just decline Florida or just like said, like, yo, you know what, Florida, just frig off? Uh, nah, come on, come on. Simming gets taken his time. What's the thing about NHL 14 and NHL 15 simming? Or the older GM mode, the simming would be so quicker. And you could do so better, or like, you could do more stuff. It looks like we're on a little win streak, but, we, you know, Tampa Bay, they'll win some, then they'll lose tremendously. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Our first overtime loss. Our first shootout slash overtime loss. Nice. It has to be against Edmonton, but you got the young studs. Uh, there we go. We win, so we didn't. Uh, we got a point at least. I'm looking for maybe close to 50 wins this year. Maybe win that Stanley Cup in my first year of GM. That would honestly be pretty cool. There we go. There we go. One, two, three. Arana... Uh, Hey, we got a point every single time. Let's sim up all the way at the trade deadline right now. And then we'll go look at some stats. Uh, for the trade deadline right now, rumors about trading players on my team. Uh, I don't know. I really don't want to trade people just because we're doing good. We're getting those wins. We're getting those points. And... I see, like, we get, yeah, we're getting wins. Might not be by a lot of goals sometimes, but if we lose, we lose hard. That's a thing. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. We win. Ooh, Tongue. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. They want, uh, they want to give me some depth. Uh, if I'm smart enough, I would say no to this, just because this is basically a salary dump from uh, Colorado. Yeah, salary dump. Mm, no. Nah. Sorry, buddy. Next time. Next time. Uh, Columbus Blue Jacket should be an easy win. Should be an easy win. Uh, 
knowing it's Tampa Bay, it's probably gonna be a win. Nice. Ooh, Marty Havlad. Ooh, okay, no, wait, do Sidley Pocket. Ah, Marty Havlad. I could maybe use some more depth on my team. Ah, yes, another salary dump. Oh, sorry about that. Wow. We got one year remaining, so. I'm basically trading not that much. Okay, Sid Lake Pocket. But the uh, third round pick. Yeah. I think I'll Marty Havlot. Where is he? Yeah, I like his skating. That's the thing. I really love his skating. But his, his physical category is not the greatest. Shooting? Man, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Could get us some more scoring. But where am I going to place him? Now, you know what? No, I'm sorry, man. No. We're having a good season. But at the end of the day, if I bring him to playoffs. And, oh, my God. It's, it's hard to, you know what? Nah, nah, uh, maybe in the trade deadline. But not right now. They're they're giving us some uh, they're giving us some good trades, man. They're they if we can get a veteran or at least someone that's tough in the playoffs for the playoffs, or at least a veteran that we add some more depth. Ooh, there we go. That's what it's talking to you about. Uh, when we lose, we lose hard. Uh, maybe get ooh yeah, there we go. Ooh, Glenn Cross, Curtis Glenn Cross. That's probably a guy that I'm gonna get. Yeah, Curtis Glenn Cross. A trade. Top six four his physical categories, but eh, it's okay for his physical category. He's an all around guy, yeah. Toy forward, defensive word is not the greatest, but still, you won't use him on the on the penalty kill. Yeah, Kuchi is a Kucherov, and then we have Brendan Morrow on the other side. Yeah, I think it's Brendan Morrow. Oh, Glenn Cross, I think he'd be better. Be more of a scoring asset to us. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to really edit this trade by a lot. Uh, where's Brendan Morrow? Where is he? Where is he a little a little rascal? Brendan Morrow. I'm going to dump your contract right now. Pocket, you're going to get out. And then I think we're... It's even on our side. No... It's because Brent Morrow is uh, has less money, but uh, still, if I compare Brent Morrow to uh, Curtis Glencross, Brent Morrow has a better physical category. That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Or senses. Maybe we can get something else out of Calgary. Maybe a first round of this year. Second round out of this year. Now nah, we'll see at the trade deadline. We will see at the trade deadline. Add some depth on the team, but I'm um, have to think of trades. Glenn Cross. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Curtis Glenn Cross. Pocket. It's the same, uh, it's the same trade, basically. I think is the only reason why I don't want Glenn Cross, because of his, um, this resigning him next year. I could always dump Matthias Olin on, on them, that's the thing. Take the third round out, and then we'll dump Matthias Olin on them. Where is it? Matias only can go instead of our third. Pocket can go. Then I'll give my third round. Here we go. That should go through if I'm not mistaken. That should go through. Yeah, I dumped Matias Olin's contract right now. Get Glenn Cross. 
Will it go through at least? Oh, okay, so it did accept. Okay. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Uh, our boy Ben Bishop. Uh, oh, okay, so we got the win. Okay. I said he was going to have a little... Uh, he had a little uh, bad trip right there, but whatever. Defenseman, six weeks. Wow, really? They really want to go? No, no, no. Screw that. Okay. Quick, quick things, quick things right now. Yeah, we're still first by a lot. Uh, let's go to edit lines and then we'll uh, put our boy Curtis Glencross in there. And then we will probably scratch Brendan Morrow. Our Brendan Morrow is already scratched. That's the thing. I could send JT Brown back to the... Yeah, fourth line is just a little... It's a scoring line, I can tell you that right now. But I can send JT Brown back into the... He's probably had a... Did he have a good season? Season static. Seven goals, three assists. I need minus ten. Nah. You know what? I think it's JT Brown. We'll, we'll, we'll put you back to the minors. Let's switch him up with Glenn Cross. Glenn Cross is there in the Killorn. Could he maybe play here? Glenn Cross. Glenn Cross will play on that fourth line. You get somewhat of a toughness in there with the physical category because we don't. All our other guys are not really physical, so Glenn Cross will play there. And then I think from then on, then we can. Uh, we can. Uh, there we go. Where is he? Oh, he's going to have to go through waivers. Damn it. Oh, JT Brown. JT Brown. Damn it. Why'd you have to sign a one-way contract? Oh, man. Okay, okay. In the system. In the system. I'm telling you, man. It he would have been a good stud in the minors. Really, really been a really good stud. But uh, what can you do, eh? You know what? Okay, Brown's going to get scratched till the end of the season. Yeah, you know what? Since I want more depth on my team, I'll try Curtis Glencross, and if it doesn't work out, we'll pack. We'll make him pack his bags and go out of town. Yeah, GT Brown, it's not like he had a really good season. Well, for a fourth liner, 10 goals, or was a 10 goal, 7 assists is a really good season for that guy, but we'll try it out with uh, Curtis Glencross. Just add some more depth. To get more use to it. We can always switch him up. Oh, we only picked it. No, I'm done. But we'll see where it brings us. There we go. It's a win. Okay, so it didn't really affect us that much. Uh, Brown. Clank Cross. Brown. I don't know. He, if you put him through waivers. Oh my god, I'm going to kill him. If you put him through waivers, then someone's obviously going to claim him. Because Brown is one hell of a player. And, uh, you know what, whatever, man. Well, next year, I think I'm going to get rid of Curtis, uh, Curtis Glencross. Probably get a first rounder in that draft. Try to get Mr. McDavid up there. But other than that, I think we're just going to wait. We're going to wait it out. Looks like our boy Ben Bishop isn't doing anything. Could be my defense, but whatever. No, I don't need, I don't need any more depth. Oh man, Thomas Kopecky. Nice. No. Against the Anaheim Ducks. Ooh, overtime loss. No. I'm afraid one of these days I'm going to hit that accept button by accident. I should really clear my trading block, but I just want to keep it just in case. Okay, simulating is taking a long time, even though there was nothing happening that day for us. Ooh, a loss. If he loses Ben Bishop, we're going to put in uh, 
Uh, yeah, Nabokov, you're going in just for now, just till uh, further notice. Yeah, we're putting the Bach off just because. Putting the Bach off, give Ben Bishop a rest. Maybe he's overplayed or just our team is kind of being crappy right now. Whoops. Goalies. Yeah, you know what? Nabokov. We'll see if Nabokov's got a, a little hot streak going or if he can get a little hot streak. I guess I forget that presence trophy. Maybe we're not even first in the Eastern Conference anymore. Yeah, Nabokov can play all the way. can play both games. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe it just, uh, Ben Bishop was tired. I don't know, man. Ah, come on there, guys. Come on. Just win both last games. Win both last games. Come on. They'd be better. Come on, win against Chicago. Strongest team in the league. And are we going to pull off? Are we going to pull it off? Are we going to pull it off? And no, we don't. Oh, close game, but still, we didn't uh, pull it off. Come on, eat. <laughs> oh, we lost against Florida. That is bad. Okay, um... We're gonna have to go check what's the problem. I think we should have kept uh, Mr. Uh, JT Brown in it, but uh, whatever. Nabokov, you're out, buddy. There's Nabokov for Ben Bishop, and uh, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up with our team. Let's go check where we stand. No, I do not want to do that. Okay, stat central. Uh, looks like Stammer's leading again. Uh, team stats were first in the Atlantic. And then what about uh, Eastern Conference? We are officially fourth. But we're tied. We're in a three way tie for second place. And the uh, entire league, we are. We are 11th. Okay. Chicago's the strongest team. Uh, let's go for goals four per game. Okay, so we're uh, we are we are six. What about uh, goals against per game? I think we are. Yeah, we are. We're letting too many goals. Yeah, we're about fifteenth, about the halfway mark. And then okay, wait. And what about uh, power play? I think we're good in that. It's okay. What about the uh, penalty kill? Penalty kill, I think it dropped a lot. No, I think we are good. Uh, tenth. Uh, that's, that's okay. We are powerful. We've got to look at our defense also, but let's go check some of the player stats. Come on, EA Sports. Don't be little bitches with me. Okay, so Stammer, Druin. Oh, yeah, there we go. Druin obviously got uh, less points because he wasn't being double shift all the time. But he still got some points. That's good to see. Uh, Philippula and then Glenn Cross playing that fourth line. But uh, I don't need Glenn Cross. That's a thing. It's just there for depth. Henman Johnson, Callahan, Nicoletti, so all these guys. Palat's got his points back up. We still on minus 13. Uh, we gotta do some. Got to do some line mixes after. Yeah, a lot of minuses. Wow. This is basically our first line that's getting all the goals, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to look at what's wrong, but we'll do that next episode. Okay. All skaters. Stamp goes to second. And for all skaters, can I go rookies? Yeah, rookie skaters. Nice. I guess so. Druin is leading for rookie skaters. Yeah, there we go. And then we got this Evgeny Kusinov guy. Okay, so uh, Druin might win the Calder Trophy this year, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll see. Skaters. Uh, Sam goes first. What about goals? No. Uh, always first, but Sam goes third. What about assists?
Uh, Thorn Jeru, and then do we have anyone that's close to there? No, we we'll get Stammers there. But whatever, okay. So our team's doing... They're on a little losing streak, but you know what? I think we can guarantee ourselves a playoff spot within the next couple wins. At trade deadline, all I want to do is for the trade deadline, give me recommendations for the trade deadline, but I don't... I don't think I'm going to get anyone for the trade in the trade deadline because I have all the players on one of my team and we'll we'll see. But hope you guys are on subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. So, bye-bye.